But now I can show you, since we're on the Virtual Boy, I can show you some stuff. Like, for example, Jack Bros. The system had only 10 games in the U.S., but like 22 in, I, th I think... You know, we, uh, we established this last time, but there are some, uh, homebrew games that I have as well. I don't want to blow up Narold's spot, but Narold helped. Jack Frost, Jack Lantern, Jack Skelton. Yes, please. I, I would like to play as Jack Skelton. October 31st, Halloween. So wait, it's a top-down stab game? Each character plays different. Most have shoot. Um, again, this is not a really good representation of what this game is probably supposed to look like. 3D effect is probably quite nice. Well, I say that. For Virtual Boy. No? Gauntlet-style dungeon crawler, I guess. Okay. Trust me, you do not want this in 3D. So, is this, um... Vinny, this was the first Shin Megami Tensei game released in the U.S. Are you serious? What does that mean? <laughs> and this is considered a good game? For Virtual Boy, yes. And apparently it's very rare. Like, it's difficult to find in, in you know... ...in stores. <laughs> in Virtual Boy stores. Where you get Virtual Boy products. Knife kill. I don't... Um, I don't hate it. I don't really care for it very much, but... I get why it would be good for Virtual Boy. Um, let me try a different character. No, shoot snowball or use snowflakes. All right. I don't know what the hell's going on here, other than people love this character and are typing hee ho in chat right now. So I don't know what the hell's happening, but you know, whatever, whatever makes you happy. This character is much easier than short range knife lad. This is the 
the basically the company's mascot. No way to strafe. Vinny, stop pretending you don't know what Persona is. Even if you don't played it, you know what games Altus makes. Atlas makes. Oh, I'm sorry. My daddy taught me not to be afraid of the games I know. Um. No, I didn't know that. But, I mean, I'm sorry I, I that you thought I knew it. I wish I I wish I would have known to know not to know the things that I don't know. Of course I've heard of the the persona. I've heard of the name. I know that Shin Megami Tensei is a crossover with Fire Emblem. I know Joker will be in Smash. I didn't know that Atlas made it. That was the extent of my knowledge. But now you know the extent of my no Oh my god. Oh my god. So this is Waterworld on Virtual Boy. Dear God. I mean, the jet skis look 3D. I, I give it that much. This is a hard game to look at. And then, like, your boat just disappears, it just flickers out of existence. Am I supposed to rescue these lads? The fuck? Uh, now everything's changing on me. This music is borderline experimental. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like, um... It's, it sounds like Marooned by Pink Floyd. It sounds like just ambient... Like, what the fuck? Dennis Hopper, please. Hey, I have a confession to make. I liked Waterworld when it first uh, hit HBO. I didn't see it in the theater or anything, but I, I thought it was a decent movie. Is it a good movie? No, not really, but it was fun. I watched it a couple times. It was pretty good. Dennis Hopper gave his bad guy King Koopa performance. There was a lot of water. It was cheesy. There were gills. Kevin Costner was in it. Uh, that's about it. That's all I remember. Mad Max on water? Kinda. Not as good, but... It wasn't completely terrible. I think the game has sullied the, the movie. Where, I mean, you have the Mario Brothers movie, which is clearly superior to the uh, game that was based on it. Boy, this is not fun. This is just so not fun. Kevin cost not. I'm going to show you what the default setting is for this.
So this is virtual vir, <laughs> virtual e-cursor demo, which I don't believe is something that even works. Never mind. VB rocks demo. Oh, these demos don't even work. And these are, again, these are homebrew. Some of these homebrews don't even fucking work. Here's a scaling demo. This works. Good demo. Important. Read instruction and precaution booklets before operating. All right, well, here's a legit game. This is Nestor's Bowling. Sorry, Nestor's Funky Bowling. This is a character from Nintendo Power that they adopted into a character for Virtual Boy. That's really the only notable thing about this game, from what I understand. them 3D. There are, mo there are a couple more options that I could do for this, but it, uh, it's not really working as far as I'm aware. Oh my god. So just cross your eyes and you'll get a 3D effect. Don't actually do that. But I'm currently doing it right now and it kind of works. And I'm probably going to develop some kind of brain tumor as a result of this. Oh god. And we have one more setting. This is- I don't know what the fuck this is. This is just awful. Oh. Dear lord, no, we don't even want- No! No, I don't know what the hell setting that is, but... We don't want that. Cyberscope. Let's see what this setting is. Okay, never mind. Oh, clearly mistakes have been made. There's an anaglyph setting for a green magento. That's what it says, green magento. Does it mean <laughs> magneto? <laughs> this causes less eye strain in 3D. God, the sound chip is so fucking terrible. Um, I don't know how to get back to... I think, uh, I think I screwed up a little bit, because now I don't know how to get back to the non... ...crazy mode. Green? So this is Mario Clash. Okay, now we have non-crazy mode, kind of. Oh boy. God, 
it hurts. That sucks. So, it's based on Mario Arcade, or just Mario Brothers, and it's 3D and you get to throw shells. Huh. Vinny, this looks as good as throw up. <laughs> yes, it does! Why you can combo. Mental. momentum. Yeah, this is- this isn't that bad. Again, it's like a tech demo. Just a second. Just changing a couple options for the next game. Um... Hello World demo? Will this even work? It doesn't look like the homebrew shit actually even works. Important. Read instructions. Like Galf. Wow. <laughs> wow, is this how this is gonna work? Oh, this is actually kind of 3D. I don't know how they're doing this, but yeah, it looks like it's a little 3D. But you have to actually, um, you can't really control where you hit the ball unless you're perfectly accurate. It's golf! Three D Tetris. Wait, isn't this just Tetris Effect? Not Tetris Effect. What 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 Tetris game am I thinking about? Tetrisphere. I'm thinking about Tetrisphere on the N64. Nah, this is gonna be a no from me, dog. when Tetris was toyed with. When the concept of a Tetris game was still pretty malleable to the point where people were just trying different wacky 3D things with it. And I think at this point we've more or less settled on what Tetris should be if you hear the name Tetris. 
Because, I mean, yeah, these aren't even tetrominoes, the tetraminos, whatever. This, this, these are just random, like, block. It's so slow, it just... it's painful. <laughs> Yay, I cleared one. I heard a Tetris game on PSVR was amazing. I think that's Tetris Effect. I've heard very good things about that. This game pauses once every 15 minutes as opposed to once every 30 minutes, so I can't even imagine what kind of, like, brain damage this must do. Galaxy far, far away. This might be homebrew. It's one of Pac-Man's brothers. Pac-Friend. Oh, it's a fucking move the block game. Or the move the boxes. Box Hero. It's called Box Hero? I made it in my basement. Three days. Um, yeah, I based it on some of the block games fr from my youth that were on the game ball. Vinny, it said, eat instructions. Eat instruction and precaution booklets before operating. <laughs> Found high. So this is a real game. Oh. Oh boy. Do whatever you can to make the most out of the 3D. If that means nauseating the player, it's worth it. It's not bad. I just wouldn't want to play this for more than a couple minutes. I actually might be making me a little sick. Um, I'm not even kidding when I say that it's making me a little sick. I played some really fucking shitty stuff on Sundays, some really tough games to look at. I've played some really bad games that have, like, motion problems, <laughs> but this... Looking at chat, when I look over from chat at this, like, from- at this from chat... Wait, no. And, yeah, vice versa, and that, and stuff. Um, it hurts, is what I was trying to say. Well, this is nice. This is a little bit less painful. Did I just accidentally make a donger? It's not like you can just move the thing. It actually controls like an Etch-a-Sketch. So you have to, like, adjust the knobs in the same way you would an Etch-a-Sketch. Which makes this pointless. It looks like an escalator now. Now it's, now it's just an escalator. It's not a donger. It was never a donger. I mean, that's the plot twist. This whole time it was just an escalator. It's like an abstract escalator. And an abandoned mall. Frame Buffer Drawing Demo is the name of this demo, or thing. Good demo.
this one's called glow demo and it says press start button and would you look at that it actually it glows I bet it looks a lot cooler in the Virtual Boy. Eat booklet. Insane Mouse Mansion. This one never came over to the US. Well, some of the 3D stuff is, is affecting this. Man, you, you can only you can only shoot something and hurt it if it's in your line of sight. Like it has to move to be shot, otherwise you're helpless. Vinny, remember, the Virtual Boy has two D-pads. Oh, you're right. I just wish I could turn off this 3D now. I don't remember how to do that. Hang on a minute. Preferences. Um, it's in anaglyph mode. Maybe I can do side-by-side -side separation. Let me try that again. Why is this small now? It's 384? Oh, hang on a minute. I think I got it, but it has to be 384. I did 356. That's how many... How many pixels it separates by. Okay, that's better. Um, it's not gonna be red or anything, but... And I know you want that red. That's what you're here for. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can actually aim. This isn't so bad. You know, once you actually... ...figure out how to play it, and once it doesn't hurt to look at... Uh, I bet it gets boring really fucking fast, though. Um, I guess one more game. Apparently this came with the Virtual Boy. And it's a really bare-bones version of Mario Tennis, but again, it was in 3D, so it was kind of impressive for the time. And, as much as I like to shit on the Virtual Boy, as much as everyone likes to shit on the Virtual Boy, I can't deny that it did some kind of... Some, some cool stuff. For its time. It just wasn't feasible at that time to do something like this. It tried a little bit. Where's the blooper? Oh dear god, look how stiff it is when Mario walks. Now, I want to rephrase that, but I'm not going to. I won. The Matrix.
So someone made this as homebrew in 2003, apparently. At least that's what it says here. I'm, I'm assuming that this looked cool in 3D. I hate it. Uh, Red Alarm. There's a couple more. I'm just going to go through them all very quickly. Now that I think about it. Maybe not all of them. There's there's only a couple Good left, luck. though. But, uh, Red Alarm is... Oh, oh, oh God. Go. No, 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 no. Not, no. Don't do this. Man, even Star Fox looked better than this and played better than this. Still, however, you know what? Not that bad. Overall, this could be way worse. Just from a control standpoint. Why is it saying Nintendo Virtual Boy on the screen every now and then? It's weird. Yeah, there's like a couple mechanics in this, like the, the quick movement option. Um, you can't really see what's happening because it all looks like a bunch of lines, but it, yeah, it's not terrible. Now that I think about it, this could be, this could be awful. And then there's a quick turn option. And, um, this one I think was a little bit more well-received. Teleroboxer. F-Face. Yeah, it's 3D punch-out, kind of. So, LNR punch. You can choose where you move around. And, uh, there's a... Is there a block? Yeah. Both D-pads. A nice attempt. Vinny, the death screen is real neat, really. about real neat, but it, it made me laugh, so that, that's got to count for something. Tron VB12? Okay. I don't know. And Vertical Force. This will be the last game I play. And and you've seen almost all of the notable games on the Virtual Boy Library. And it seems... Yeah, it's got that 3D thing. You can go into the background. They love that background effect so much. But yeah, it's, it's kind of alright. People are saying, Vinny, from before, why not use a red overlay? XSplit doesn't have, like, um... 
an easy way to do that as far as I'm aware. Like I can't just, I'm going to try it, but I can't just like do an overlay effect. So here's red. Okay. So here's red. And well, that's kind of opposite what we want. Looks pretty bad. Put it on top at like 25% opacity. I don't know if that's going to work either because then you, again, you don't have the overlay effect. But. <laughs> no. I mean, it was worth a shot. There's just no blending modes. But now you can pretend like this is Virtual Boy. It didn't look like this exactly, but... This is like inverse version. This is inverse Virtual Boy. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, so that's Virtual Boy games. Uh, that was... You know, that was almost all of them. All the notable ones. I think there's a couple more that you could probably investigate. But do you want to? Do any of us really want to? Wario was good. But you know what? By the time you're done playing Virtual Boy, you look like this. So it's, it's not really worth it. Anyway, we're going to take a break. Uh, thanks for watching Virtual Boy Random Game Showcase, which I didn't expect. But I'm glad I did it. And I uh, got to see Waterworld finally. I got to play Waterworld finally. So we're going to take a quick break. I'll be back with Resident Evil 2. Stick around a couple minutes. And here's a song from the Buzzcocks.